What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have a super fun episode for you today and this video is brought to you by my good friends and longtime supporters of this channel, Wadproof. So go and check out the link in the description, get their app, it is the greatest thing in our space. So thanks again Wadproof. And guys, at the end of this video, there's a bit that is probably my favorite piece of content I've created in a long time. So watch the whole thing and enjoy. You sexy beasts. We are at Cross Victorian, as you can see. This gym now, it just never ceases to amaze me. We're here to document 23.3. It is the Australian hope on the team side. Royce's team with Brandon Swan, Christy Hollard, and Marnie Sykes. So uh, let's see how these guys do in 23.3. That's it. That's, oh, that's, a, that's a retirement road. That's a disgrace. What's the plan for this year? Are you going team or Indy? Indy and Indy. Indy? Give it a crack. Good. Hopefully. Yeah. Make it a tour. Ready for the last one, James? Yeah! <laughs> you look so excited. Let's go! <laughs> Best dressed judge I've ever seen in my life. Welcome to Australia, mate. It's so hot, and it's like, what, 11 o'clock at night? That's what it feels like. <laughs> Be honest, who, anno who annoys you the most? Roycey boy or, uh, or Swanee in training? Definitely Royce. You can't get a word in. He's always chatting, and it's always his way, but he's also very supportive, so he's a good teammate. He knows what he's talking about, too. <laughs> mate, you impress me every week, eh? Hey? Oh, hardly, okay. hardly do any CrossFit, oh. and still got to the final bar and got how many reps? Five. Five reps. I missed five. five. I missed five, and I got five. Yeah. I missed the first two. Got one. Missed one. Got one. Missed one. Got one. Missed one. Got two. <laughs> but uh, was it a good snatch day, bro? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. That, that's like typical Metcon weights and a lot of like a lot of workouts we do. Yeah. Richard do a lot of like five, four, three, two, one, two, twenty fives with handstand, all good stuff. So the snatches felt fine. Just that standard for me, it's a tiny bit narrower, and like I think what's unexpected 
it's a lot closer to the wall. Like the 10 inch line, you know, normally you have like a half a meter square or whatever and you kind of kick up a bit further away. So being in closer and a tiny bit narrower, it was just way more deliberate. I had to like work harder to fall off the wall. Yeah. So I, do, I was doing fours and they were smoking me a bit. If it was like, you know, normal standard or even like quarterfinals, the 40 inch, I probably could have bigger sets and I maybe would have caught Jack. So, but it was like super good for what, for the, for the cards I was dealt. I, I felt awesome, I loved that, that was good. Great execution for me. How good is it having Marnie here? It's awesome, oh yeah, we've been, poor Marnie, she's gonna go home to New Zealand and just like sleep for a week. We've just been smashing it into the ground and like she's, every day she said, this is more training than I've done in like a week. She, poor girl, she's hanging out to get home. It's been awesome just to balance out the testosterone in our group. So yeah, it's been nice. She's been training with us every session, staying with Roy, so it's good. She is looking forward though to going home and having a rest day on Sunday. I cannot remember the last time we had a rest day. I feel like it's been like a month. And she said to me, she's like, when I fly out on Saturday night, on Sunday, I'm doing nothing except laying in bed. Poor thing. <laughs> No, it's 10. It's not 10. 10. It's actually made of wood. Hey B, what um what app do you use to record your open workouts? Always Wadproof. Wadproof timer, always. It's actually it's really cold. I'm just gonna do a couple. Earthquake bar. Yeah, well that isn't that it's a different band with? No, no, this, no, that's the, the bamboo bar. bar is just a slang term. Right. What's funny, Chris is looking. <laughs> <laughs> So we're, we're, we're doing the worm, and um, Christy, we have this we have this method. We we shuffle and we pull, and Christy looks over and she sees Swanee shuffle it, but we haven't called for the yep, and she's waiting. She knows, and she's like, he's gonna fuck up, and she calls yep, and we all shuffle, but Swanee just pulls, and the worm clean goes to shit, obviously, and uh, Christy's like, she's like Swanee, and he's like ah oh, straight away, and so I I, re I recreate the moment for for the viewers. I just know I. Up, I didn't oh, know I what I'd done. So I just froze. I'm like, what? Yeah. It's the first time I've seen Christy angry. I wasn't even angry. I don't know if you got it off film. <laughs> I'll get off and cut it in here. <laughs> like, Swanny, for fuck's sake, I saw you, mother. <laughs> I'm just like, what? And she just kept curb stomping and curb oh. stomping. <laughs> she oh, came wow. bounding over. <laughs> <laughs> How's the front rack man? <laughs> uh, so basically it's just like super, the bar itself is super wobbly and then the band's obviously wobbly so what you're working is the stability, not not the weight. So you keep it pretty light, you do it like kind of tempo because you don't want to just get out of control with it. The whole point is to try to um, make the bar as smooth as possible while it's trying to shake. Great activation, we use it like, like a 3x10 into some heavy so it's good activation helps with like rehabbing stuff, makes your like shoulders less susceptible to injuries. It's like do it as an accessory after a session too. Really, really cool. I may have to get one of those for my shoulder, I think. Obviously we're following Mayhem and Rich has been doing a ton of this because he was trying to rehab a labrum tear that he like had just been putting off all the years he was competing. And we did, first couple of weeks, we just, you know, we're doing like dumbbells or like one of the kettlebell, we just make it up. And then I was like, so the critic, he's, just, he's doing it so much. And, I, and I've heard so, so many strength pages, strength bureaus like talk about the value of it. I was like, let's just get one, let's just buy one. It's not that expensive, 400 bucks is expensive, but it's a, a good investment. And we've used it like every week since and it's phenomenal. Like even Jack was saying like the other day, just doing like 20 unbroken must ups on like high rings. You just feel good because you're just so stable from this stuff. It's just, it's good. We do bench with it, we've done back squats with it, front squats, overhead squats, lunges, like you can do anything and it's phenomenal. Even improve, it improves my mobility. Like I'm pretty tight, it helps with my mobility. Really worth getting. What a great night. It's all done now and uh, I'm just about to jump in my car and drive back to the Gold Coast. It's a one hour drive and I am busting to go to the toilet, but you guys already know, the bathroom's here at Torian, it's no joke, it's like, it's really like something out of a horror movie. So I'm gonna put on my big boy undies and brave the hallways of the Torian bathrooms. I freaking hate this, I hate this. I'm just gonna make this, make this real quick. The scariest thing.